Our whole nation mourns for the more than 20 lives lost and for the heartbroken families they leave behind. Rescuers in Alabama dug through the remnants of homes and businesses smashed to their foundations by tornadoes so powerful, more than a dozen people are dead, including children. It's just, uh, it's been a, a long, long night. Uh, these families, some have lost just about their entire family. A desperate search for survivors and more victims continues today after two twisters ripped through Lee County on Sunday afternoon, less than an hour apart. I grabbed my dog and went and got in the closet, and I'm sitting there holding the door just in case because it didn't close all the way. And a few minutes later, that's when I can hear all the wind and the house moving. We were home when this came through, and it was uh, we knew it was bad. We, we lost power, but... We were getting a lot of phone calls. They're being called the deadliest such storms to rip through the South in years. This morning I spoke with Alabama Governor Kay Ivey, a friend of mine, a tremendous governor, tremendous person. And I've directed FEMA to provide immediate assistance to the great state of Alabama. They're in there in full force. And whatever we can do, we're doing. Uh, we simply could not uh, do anything without all of their assistance. Uh, we're going to continue our searches as the day goes on. Uh, this is uh, primarily a, at least a one square mile area that we've been concentrating on, but the track, uh, as I mentioned earlier, does continue uh, to the east toward the state of Georgia, so we're looking at other areas as well. The severe weather also unleashed devastation in parts of Georgia, uprooting trees and leveling homes. The Lee County's coroner's office was so overwhelmed by Sunday's destruction, it was forced to call in help from the state to deal with the mass casualty. Officials expect the death toll will rise. It is sad. You know, you prepare and you prepare and you, you guide citizens on what to do. And sometimes even when we do everything right, Mother Nature has a mind of its own. The National Weather Service says the deadly tornado that touched down in Lee County was at least an EF4, with winds topping 200 kilometers an hour. Now the scale uses the physical damage caused by the storm to estimate just how fast the winds were blowing, which means with this tornado, it likely demolished almost everything in its path. Probably nobody made it out of that path. That path was brutal. A heavy wind and everything, and then we ran inside and... After that, it was just a lot of debris flying, and we just watched it out the window.